Mike here, Baltimore. We are live here at Hughes Stadium where the Morgan State Bears, Dominic, fell to the North Carolina Central Eagles 21-17. This is Fox Sports 1340. I'm Brian H. Waters. This is Dominic Rowe. We're back. N Dominic, two turnovers two. with under four minutes to go. Two. What happened? Crazy. They did not protect the ball. In the beginning, we said the key words were big plays, big plays, and more big plays. But at the end of the day, North Carolina Central, it seems like they were the ones that were making all of the big plays. I don't know what was going on today. Well, let's look at it, right? So you go to the first quarter, mm -hmm. North Carolina Central, they come out storming. 14-0. 14-0. Mm -hmm. Then, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. the Bears come ruined. Mm -hmm. They come back. It's 14 up. Yep. Then, right before halftime, Morgan capitalizing on that momentum, throws another three points on the board, and now they have a lead, a lead that they would take deep into the fourth quarter. Yeah. You look at ESPN projections, and they said Morgan State with less than six minutes was 63% to win the game. But then all of a sudden the things turn. It's strange. They couldn't play defense. They could not play defense at all. It was a terrible, it was a terrible effort. I'm not going to say it was terrible, but they could have done a lot better, a lot better. And you know, it, it, clearly North Carolina Central's leaders, you know, one of the best Definitely. teams in the division. Definitely. But what this game showed that Morgan State can run with the big boys. The fact is, let's not take the positives. Mm -hmm. They had, they had to make a quarterback change. They did. It was an injury. And to be able to still be in this game at the end, unfortunately for the quarterback, he fumbled the ball, and then he threw an interception, a very costly fumble, and a costly interception, an opportunity where they could have drove down and won the game. Definitely. It didn't happen. But to be that close, I mean, yes, the Eagles proved why their record is what it is. Definitely. Nonetheless, Morgan State, don't hold your heads down. This was – Almost had to win. We know almost doesn't count, but it's homecoming. And you know what? They might have lost on the field, but it's still time for a celebration. Definitely. 149 years of existence. 149 years where this university is a national treasure, a place that you can call home, a place that I can call home, a place that Hugh Scott behind the camera can call home, a place that most of Fox Sports 1340 can call home. Yes, sir. A place that most of Baltimore Baltimore's pride, joy, Morgan State University. Any final thoughts? Man, I don't, no, not really. We just have to do better. We're going to come out next time. We're going to produce those big plays. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Well, we're going to learn from this, and then we'll go into the next game and do much better. Tell them where they can find you, man. man you can find me on Twitter at Domo Row, D O M O R O W E. Facebook is the same thing. Oh, you hear the music? The music is going, but you know what? Let me, um, I, I want to get the party. Find me at Brian H. Waters. Find us at 1340 AM Fox Sports. Yes, Log on to the website, foxsports1340am.com, and be sure to catch all your news, breaking news, updates, and original stories. Until the next time, he's Dominic Rowe. I'm Brian H. Waters. So long, everybody.